Yo, what is up my peeps? Welcome back to the Den server. It's been a while, um, and I've been meaning to record this for a little bit now, but it, work and life and everything just gets in the way. So here it is. Um, today, we got a couple things um, I need to show you. I've built a little bit uh, of this path, a little bit more. Um, I'm not great at building paths, so I'm sorry if it's ugly. I might change it in the future. But basically, I just wanted to build it. Um, it's just for aesthetics. Obviously, we don't need to use the path, but it goes to my mine, and then it goes to uh, the. It's gonna go even further. I'm not quite done yet to the uh, skeleton XP farm. And then I'm actually gonna make it go through the mountain. I was actually gonna make it like kind of go with this mountain because it's kind of got like a staircase form to it. But I decided, eh, it's too much work, and really, it's. Uh, I'm gonna be building what you guys already probably know from the title of the. Uh, the, 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 the episode today is going to be an iron golem farm um, and so I've got most of the supplies right here with me and hopefully it'll work and people said that it doesn't work in the snapshot anymore but it does and I tested it uh, but first things first apparently we have mail uh, at our shop requesting some cake stuffs so first things first we're gonna go check that out we're going to go make the order for whoever left us this I believe it was squid but, uh, so yeah, I think I have cake stuffs, I got eggs, I got buckets for milk, I got Betsy up top of my shop, I got sugar, wheat, okay, good, 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 and then we'll see how much he's requesting, and, uh, we'll make just enough. I was actually thinking of changing my prices, I think my prices are a little bit high, um, I do kind of want to make at least, like, a diamond purchase or whatever, but I, I think one cake for one diamond is kind of, you know too much so we'll have to make more cake because it is semi easy to make cake so we'll change up the prices and then we'll give whoever needs this cake a better discount because obviously they don't know about that we're changing the prices right now so I'll see you guys over at the shop so we are here at spawn I am here on my noble steed uh, and I have to show you guys a little bit more about spawn I've barely been on the server uh, for a little while now um, so this is new to me too uh, they changed up the path. I believe this was Paco who changed up the path. It looks nice. Looks good. I do kind of like the uh, the more not so... Fuck you, Rain. Like, seriously? Uh, I do like the not so kind of straight edge. But I did like the clean straight edge as well. So I believe this is uh, squids. I believe it's like a bar. So we'll just tie you up here. Perfect. It's even got like little horse, horse stables for them too. I don't know what the T stands for. It's a nice green shop. Um, but yeah, I think it's like a bar. I think this is a stage. And then, obviously, uh, he's got some chairs up here for people to chill out. I think he's going to be serving drinks here. Obviously, we're going to need, like, ID cards. I'm legal. At least in Canada, I'm legal. <laughs> At least where I live, it's legal. Um, but then we do have some underage minors on the server, so we can't be doing that. We can't be giving them drinks. <laughs> Um, let's see if we can tie it. Uh, I can, but I'll probably lose the lead. I think this is Spooter's shop. I don't know what this is, just his stuff, I guess. And I'm not quite sure what he sells. Instructions for selling. Num oh, selling number four number. So selling 64 wood for eight slime balls. Doesn't have wood. Doesn't have... He's got glowstone. That's good. Um payment chest so okay so you put it in there you can buy dirt you can buy coal he's got a lot of coal um, he's got some horse armor that's good I don't know I like specific shops like this is obviously gonna be like I don't know market I guess you'd call it um, come on come on god damn it are you come on I ain't, I ain't fucking with you lead uh, done. Don't worry, I got the gentle touch with me so I can get all this back. Yeah, I went mining for a little bit so I could get some smooth stone. That's what I'm going to make the iron golem farm out of. Um, so yeah, not too much else has changed to the spawn. Um, looks like, I think that's Spooter. He's building something else over there. I don't think it's complete, so we won't check it out just yet. But uh, yeah, that's to come. We got some trees in the middle here. I don't know why. I guess it was just Spooter collecting wood for his shop, maybe? Because we are not supposed to build in the middle, as per this sign says. Anyways, we shall go check out my shop now, 
and see what is up and what the order has been placed. Holy shit, look at all these signs. You can stay. I need a fence post out here. I don't have one. Party at Tonic. Oh, that's what that's called. You're being invited. Bring five of your best cakes. I will pay on arrival, plus bring your best singing voice. Because we'll be using the bread. Brand new karaoke machine. Squid. Aw, cool, squid. So, cake. One diamond. No. So, uh, I do not know. No. Um... Sorry, so Paco and Spider are on the server currently. No payments yet, but that's fine. So, I don't know what I'm going to change it to yet. I'm thinking maybe three cakes per one diamond. And six gold and 15 iron. Maybe I need to lower the iron and gold. But then people will just pay iron and gold instead of one diamond. And I kind of want diamonds. So that's just kind of an alternative. We'll say three cakes. You know what? You know what? Let's go big. Let's go big. We're going to be a really cheap shot. We're going to go five cakes for one diamond, six gold, or 15 iron. I think that's a good price because then that's three iron per cake. And that's pretty cheap. That's that's a really good price. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. Five cakes for these prices. Um, and I might make that eight gold, actually, because I want eight gold so that or I would need... Um, eight gold blocks so nine would make a block but whatever we'll make it eight I think and so that means that we'll go ahead and make uh, squids five cakes and then I think we'll even bring five complimentary cakes to the uh, tonics um, so we need ten of these we need our bucket we're gonna milk Betsy just hold on Betsy we'll be with you in a second wow my inventory is full and uh gonna need to throw this out or throw this here no shoot come here betsy come here betsy let me milk you let me milk you so uh i will see you guys in a bit once i've made these 10 cakes all right there we go we made the 10 cakes for squid there's 10 there as you can see you don't even really need to count i'm not going to count it for you there's nine across in an inventory plus one so you know I just let him know that five cakes were on me. I'm excited for his grand opening. It's going to be pretty dope. We're probably going to have karaoke, everything. It's going to be dope, sweet, everything you can imagine. Make sure to stay tuned for that episode. And then I let him know that there's new prices, so it's going to be cheaper for him for those five cakes. It'll only cost him one diamond for five cakes or eight gold or 15 iron, whatever you want to do. Um, but uh, <laughs> with that being said, I also left a note at the front of the spawn obviously the portal is going to be changing eventually its location I think somewhere in the middle there when we build our like hub castle thing whatever um, but I let them know that there's new prices and to tell their friends because that's what we want people to do so there we go we uh, made some cake for squid our very first purchase and you know what when squid asks I'll just say it's on the house those first five cakes he's my first customer my very first purchase so don't worry about it squid if you're watching this I love you so first one's on the house but maybe not 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 the next one I'm, I'm trying to run a business here you know so anyways I will see you guys back at the house where we will start making the iron golem farm okay guys so we are back we are about to build the iron golem farm I am just currently deciding where exactly I want to build it um, my house is just over that hill there where I was gonna build up the mountain and then I didn't want to build in the snow biome cause, I don't know I didn't want to mess it up and the reason why I'm building it so far is I've heard that you need to build it at least 65 blocks away from another wooden door so that you don't mess up the quote unquote village that you're creating to create these iron golems in this radius so that they spawn certainly in so yeah so it doesn't mess up the spawn rate or anything like that um, but uh, I, I've seen people build it closer to their places and I have no idea how they do it but I'm just not gonna take that chance and I'm gonna build it somewhere right here I think I'm gonna go through the mountain instead of going over it and so I'm glad I didn't build the path yet I'll go like through it come out here and then maybe come up here maybe just right here it seems like a little bit of a short area but I don't want to go too far um, so yeah you know what we're just gonna build it right here so let's get started We'll start pulling out some blocks here, and I don't know exactly how many blocks I need, but, um, yeah, I just grabbed a bunch. 
Um, we're going to need here, here. No, I'm doing this all wrong. Wait, I can collect this back. Noise, noise, no wasted glass. So I'll do here. Fuck off, flowers. No one wants you. Uh, here, that was a bit dramatic. Here and here. Then we're going to need to build 10 up. And then we're going to need to build a platform. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to need a 4x4 four four just like so. Off the bottom. And I probably won't build this all on screen. But I thought I built some of it with you guys. Especially for like the big platform building which I'm about to do now. I'm going to cut. So I'll see you guys in a second. So there we go. We finished this what's a 16 by 16 platform with a 2x2 two two, uh, left open in the middle. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough materials for this. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but then next we are going to have to... That's wrong. That is wrong. It's getting nighttime, which is worrying me. So you know what? We're going to light up the inside here. We're eventually going to have to light up down there. Um, but at least we could, we're going to be able to work up up here without being blown up or things spawning up here. So just to make sure. Yeah, we'll place one there. Okay, perfect. And so now we're going to need to, this is the 16 by 16 block radius that they're able to spawn in. So we want the maximum radius. So that's why we're leaving this open. We're building outside of it now. And they're not, they shouldn't be able to spawn out here, I don't think. Um, so now we're going to go basically build all the way around. Um, and then we're going to put doors here where basically it's going to make this inside quote unquote a village uh, once we get a couple of villagers. And we need 10 villagers in total to uh, actually make iron golem spawn. It's complicated but... Uh, so easiest way I think that we're gonna do that is going to be able to collect uh, zombie villagers which I think I'll try and do at least some this episode probably off camera and show you guys me uh, changing them and uh, yeah I'll see you guys when I build this kind of second layer so there we have kind of what's going to happen for this first layer we have these doors too high up uh, covering the third and fourth block and uh, we only have ten doors across on each side totaling 40 doors and then we have these three blocks just covered by stone on each side for the 16 block radius so we don't need that many uh, doors and I think it messes up so you need to make sure that you have 40 doors and then what you want to do is actually build a, uh, a second layer so you can get maximum iron golems uh, right on this level so you're gonna start covering kind of half the door just like so uh, and then we'll cover the top of the doors and this will kind of be the second uh, level here um, and I will see you guys when I am done with that layer after so there we go we have made the second level the s kind of second block height of the door three high from this first level so that iron golems can spawn in here. Obviously torches will be gone and the water will be flowing directly towards this center here. Now we're just going to make our way up to the second level here. And I've also kind of covered over the top of the doors where the outside would have been. Um, just outside the 16 block radius. And what we're going to do to that is we're actually going to place glass on top. Uh, so that it will prevent iron golems from spawning on top of these sides uh, because they cannot spawn on transparent blocks. So I've got glass here at the ready and I'm placing it down as we speak. As you guys know, probably could have used an infinite water source somewhere up here. Okay, that glass. I was going to bother me if that corner wasn't filled in, so... Um, and I have two stacks now, and I guess we'll start on this top, but we need a, uh, an infinite water source here, so, I'm gonna go do, 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 hopefully that doesn't mess up the water flow, it shouldn't, actually, you know what, it will, but whatever, we'll fix it in a second, guys, we'll fix it, do that, we'll do that, and as temporary, 
what we're going to do to these three corners. We're going to do that and that and that and that. And so what that'll do is it'll help push the water flow even further, but we will need signs so that the water will not flow through the tunnel. Uh, we're going to do sticks. We need sticks. And then it'll give us three signs. We're going to need four. So we're going to need... That's going to give us six. We need one more. So we need for the bottom layer as well. So we need eight total. But we have nine because that's how math works, guys. Stay with me. I'm going to break this uh, crafting table here because we don't need that day. Done, 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 and done. And so, if I have this correctly, I'm supposed to place the water flowing just like so. You could do every second one. That's what I do. Um, so it's going to be there, there. Probably should have bring more buckets, but I mean, life is tough right now you know it's very very tough so there there we'll place one more we'll do that on all four sides and I will be right back with you guys alrighty guys so we have placed the water in all 10 spots I think that's 10 no I think that's 11 or something yeah that's like yeah that's like 12 <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's what we want to do. All the water is flowing correctly into the middle, except for you'll notice that the water is flowing into the corner. Um, since I only have two buckets, I made then, uh, another infinite water source underneath. So what you want to do is just place one water source block in the middle there. It'll have a nice push and flow, and then you can remove these three temporary blocks just like that. There we go. Grab that. We can head over to the next corner. Do the same thing. And then I'll do it for the other two, uh, but then I'll have to use the infinite water source obviously below me. And I will be right back after that is done. Okay, so there we are. We've done the second level just the same as we've done the top. Uh, I've actually encountered a little bit of a problem. Actually, a really big problem. Well, we're building my actual uh, iron golem spawner. Uh, at the top there, it seems I've built my spawner too high. We're going to just take a drop down here. Um, oh, what's up, zombie? What you want? Get the fuck out of here. Um, I've built it a little too high, and I think I'm in the snow biome, where they've changed that, and it's, it's snowy if you're above a certain altitude. And, uh, my water blocks up there are actually changing into ice blocks, which is bad, bad, bad. Um, obviously I'm still gonna have a lot of water flow, but if every single one of those were to freeze, it's gonna be a problem. I need to figure out if I can get some, like, torches really close to them so that I'm able to actually uh, excuse me uh, melt the ice blocks as soon as they turn into ice blocks and I think uh, torches count as a transparent block I can be corrected if I'm wrong um, but that meaning that I can actually replace each and every single one of those um, glass blocks with torches and so that should keep it from at least when it turns to ice it'll automatically just melt and turn back into water and I don't think it'll happen to the inside I think it needs to be outside in the atmosphere so we'll see we'll see how that works out but uh, at least for now we're going to it's gonna be this way that we're gonna face it um, we're going to finish off this build we're gonna want to do uh, gonna use glass um, so glass is going to be everywhere. Hopefully I have enough glass. I really hope so. We should be fine, I think. We should be fine. Just keep telling ourselves that. We should be fine. We should be good. Um, going to change this bottom two blocks because those are going to annoy me if, you know, if it's just grass underneath. I mean, it's not a problem that it's grass, but I'm probably going to change it to stone so that it matches because that's what... <gasps> Ooh. Every glass is valuable at this point, so I'm going to grab that. Um, two blocks high, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, looking good, looking good, looking fabulous. There we go. And then, oh, I've only got six. Is that enough? No, it is not. As if. As if. So for now, what we are going to do, 
Um, actually, I was wrong. We're gonna need more signs for sure. We're gonna need four more. Well, three more technically. So, actually that works out perfectly. So that we don't have any extra signs left over. So now we got four there. And we're going to go... We're gonna sit here. One, two, three. They should be there. Pretty positive it should be there. <laughs> pretty positive because if the iron golems are standing on the hoppers right here that means they're one two three blocks tall just need to be at the head uh, burning them uh, obviously with lava which I've got a lava bucket here and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually just two three four going to cover it until we need one two three and we'll come back and we'll actually fix that with glass later, but for now, it's going to remain just like that. And then we're going to pull out our hoppers. Oh my god, I apologize for my dog. Please ignore him. He's a tool bag. Going to switch all of these. Don't need to, again. Just, I'm um, OCD, and since I'm building this, it needs to be all perfect and pretty and I'll probably change the ones under those glass too another time though and then I think we have to shift into the chest if I'm correct then it points towards the chest meaning that any items especially these ones as well <laughs> jump <laughs> and those ones should also be facing not actually facing ouch that one hurts my my feelings so they need to be facing the Inner hopper, just like, oh, come on, seriously? Just like so. There we go. We could place this glass back. Two, three, four. We could place the lava source now. Once we cover that up, do uh, move this. Nope, sorry. That one. Place that in the corner, just like so. And there we go. That shouldn't fall through, just like that. We can even cover this up chest will still open and I'll even prove that if we throw my pickaxe in there it'll come out in the chest just like so so now all that's left to do is to gather some villagers and put them on the side of the building right approximately right there it doesn't matter what side and the iron golems will start spawning on the inside fall through and land in this lava source so I will be right back when we find some zombies and we will cure them yo what is up guys we are back and uh, so far I have caught two zombie villagers and so right now I've just got them in this hole where I've actually just made this little minecart track to hopefully transport them up near those doors so that the iron golems can spawn once they've transformed um, but it's getting daytime here so I thought I'd uh, show you how to do this if you didn't already know how and then uh, oh that was a complete accident now I'm gonna die I'm gonna die uh. Uh, 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 stay in. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him with a sword. I don't even have any blocks ready. This is such a mistake. This is a mistake. I hit you with a sword, so I hope you don't die. Get in. Get in. Done. Wow, that was awkward. That was so awkward. Anyways, uh, sun's coming up. Potion of weakness. Hopefully that just hit them both. There's one. There's two. And now I think I'm going to cover them up just so to make sure that the sun doesn't get them. And I'm not too sure how long it takes <coughs> excuse me, uh, for them to transform. But we can kind of watch here and I will be right back when they're into villagers. And we can try and transport the first two into there. So I'll be right back you guys. There we have it you guys, we got our two villagers, they just transformed right now in front of our eyes. We got a, uh, what you call a librarian, that's actually a really good trade I think, because if you have a zombie farm you could trade for a lot of emeralds. Oh look, and he's already got the next one too, that's weird, I didn't know that. If you, It looks like, why is it only emeralds that I can trade for? Maybe it must be the snapshot, or maybe it's because I uh, switched them. Those are pretty decent trades for emeralds. Anyways, I'm thinking I want to keep one villager um, still in the hole. So next time it's nighttime, the zombies actually come to me. And then it's going to be just easy to uh, push them into the hole. So we're going to 
dig a little hole here, push, you know, Alfred, yeah, you, your name's Alfred, you're gonna push Alfred, come on Alfred, get out of the corner, get out of the corner Alfred, I ain't playing no games with you, I ain't, I ain't playing, no, I don't wanna hurt, hit him, cause then he'll, he won't trust me anymore, come on, I, I am warning you Alfred, okay that's it, just gonna do this then, doesn't need to be even. I'm OCD, but it doesn't need to be that even. Hopefully, he doesn't despawn. Uh, he shouldn't. But, anyways, he's gonna stay there. Then the zombies are gonna come. They're gonna wanna try and kill him. Uh, and then for this guy, we're going to try and get him in this minecart. If he ever wants to move from that corner. Huh. Come on. Come on. I ain't playing games with you guys. What you doing? How come he's not get in it? There we go. Now let's see if he actually... Okay. So, like I thought, there's a problem. <laughs> How in the hell do you make minecarts go up now? Does it need a power rail there? I don't think so. That's whack. Hold on, you guys. I'll see if I can fix this problem. There we go, guys. I just did it there. Um, all I had to do was basically make this go up onto the block and then turn you can't turn into a moving up block I think he used to be able to but they must have changed that so now I can fix all of this uh, I've got one villager in there now I need a total of 10 so I have two but I need to move him later I'm gonna keep him right here I think he's right here I'm scared if he's not there he is and uh, I'll actually place that by dirt to show where he is Maybe a different block. Yeah, wood. And then, uh, yeah, the zombies should come right here. And then I'm going to push them into the hole. And I will be right back when we have the rest of our villagers. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, so, I'm sorry I didn't actually finish it yet. I've got about four villagers now. I had six. But it's complications of getting them in. Um, as you see, I have the, uh, whatever, the minecart track set up and then they go up and then if someone's standing there it gets pushed back down big complicated and then I lost a couple during the night and like it, it's very very hard I've been working on this for actually a couple days now not completely straight but going on for like maybe an hour of time and um, so I'm just gonna end off the video there so I can get this video out um, I forgot to mention that I actually moved up the glass blocks one and I put torches are you serious? You saw that, right? There's a fucking baby villager up there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go grab that guy somehow. Um, because obviously they're breeding and he spawned up there. Um, so that's a problem. But at least now mobs won't spawn and the, uh, the ice, the water won't freeze into ice now. Um, and if it does, the torches will melt it. And yeah, so that's what I did there. And other than that, um, hopefully I can fill you guys in on when it is functional next episode, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to be building a path as well. And other than that, that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Like, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more of Minecraft or anything else on my channel. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the video, what you think I should do for future videos. And uh, make sure to check out the others on the den. And uh, I will see you guys next time in whatever I make. Peace out.